Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matthew here, the designer and developer. I'm back with another tutorial. In this tutorial, we are talking, going to talk about the class selector. In the previous tutorial, we have used an ID selector to specifically select this, um, this box, the, 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 the box number three. So now what we are going to do, we are going to use the ID selector, oh, sorry, the class selector. Okay, let me just quickly show you how are we going to do that now. We want box number one and box number two to be of a different color. So what we can do, we can use a class selector. Let's say uh, the class is going to be green. Okay. The class is going to be green. Okay, first let's assign this class to, to box one only. So we are going to go to our CSS. And then when you want to target a class, you put a period or a dot. And then you type the class that you want. And then we say background color. green something is wrong with my css wearing background color green let's refresh and see okay as you can see that uh, box one now is green so so far i have taught you um, how to use the okay let's go to css I have taught you how to use the, the, the element selector. That means you select the actual HTML, HTML element tag or the actual HTML element directly. Also, I have taught you how to use a, an ID. And now I have taught you how to use a class. So very important for you to understand and to know what is the difference between these HTML, these uh, CSS selectors and when can I use them? When must I use an ID and when must I use a class? Okay, now let's first start with a class. A class, just like um, in real life, a class has got a students inside or learners or children. So a class is more like a grouping container. When you are interested in styling more than one container, you use a class. When you want to target specific containers or specific element, then you use an ID. Just like an ID in real life, an identity document, it contains a unique number that identifies you as a citizen. Maybe in South Africa, United States, Bangladesh. <laughs> I don't know where Bangladesh is. I'm just uh, uh, throwing words out, out of my mind. Maybe Nigeria or wherever you are. So an ID identifies you uniquely as a citizen in that particular uh, country. So as you can see, an ID targets some sort of specific individual. But when you talk about the class, it's more of a grouping element. Okay, so it's the same way it is in real life. It's the same way it is here in CSS. So let me give you a a, 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 a tip or a trick that I use or a, a technique that I use. Whenever I'm writing my CSS, I always make everything a class. Whatever I write my CSS, I always make everything a class. And then later, I will see if I want to target some certain elements, and then I will target them. Okay. Let's first dive, dive deep into uh, class as a group selector. Okay, let's say now we want to change also um, the paragraph to green. Okay, this is what we will do. Simple like this. We will assign the same class to what? To a paragraph. Oh, sorry about that. Where is the paragraph? Okay, okay. Sorry about that. Okay, 
we will assign the same class to a paragraph so this is where I was supposed to paste this as you can see by assigning the same class to paragraph we are affecting the paragraph well, we, well, what if we want box number four to be green we will just assign the same class to box number four okay now you've got a question I know how different is this class from the div that we have used before as you can see we have used a div and we have managed to set the background color of multiple div element so the class comes in to solve a problem because we have used the div tag to style all the divs but what if we want to style the paragraph to green also because the paragraph tag it's not a div tag it's a p tag it will mean we will have to also copy this for the p tag as you can see we have to copy this but a class comes to rescue and say no there is no need for you to make to make all those copy and div tags and p tags all you have to do you just give that html element a class of green so as you can see that with with one with um with one css style one css style we can affect as many html element as we want so in programming in general as a good practice what do we call this this is called the dry principle what dry stands for dry stands for do not repeat yourself let me just type here dry principle let's just see what will come up okay dry principle okay don't repeat yourself okay so how are we not repeating ourselves here as you can see here we are smart we only write one style tag and then we use it in multiple times okay these are the advantages that comes with a a a, a class um, um uh, selector if we want to change all those things we will only change in in one this doesn't have to be capital letters so we will change it in one style tag and it will change everywhere so that's the that's the basic um, idea or concept behind dry principle don't repeat yourself meaning that we don't have to go to a div element and change it go to a box element and change the color we only change it once so these are the advantages that comes with what with a class so as a rule of thumb and how i do things whenever i'm about to style all my html element i always assign a class to them i always assign a class to them and i will make some changes then when i feel like okay i want to target specifically this one and then i will go and use a an id i will go and then i will use an id selector to do that as you can see this is an id selector. otherwise for me matthew singati that's about it please please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button otherwise see you on the next one